Trafford could become more suitable for zombies than Red Devils within just two decades. That's the post-apocalyptic vision predicted by iImages, unless Manchester United fix all their creaky, leaky stadium problems. Luckily, United's minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has identified the issue as a vital part of his plans for a massive revamp on and off the pitch. But the Old Trafford Falls, the taunting new moniker for the club's sieve-like roof, has symbolised the Red Devils' plight this season. You must be soaking might be another way of expressing the damp squib of a campaign for Eric Ten Hag's squad. And Arsenal fans chanted Old Trafford is falling down as the Gunners triumphed 1-0 in a stormy deluge last Sunday, with water cascading through the roof of what could now be called the Theatre of Streams. Read more top STORIESMAKEA Mark Marcus Rashford in angry confrontation with fan at Old Trafford Freebets Freebet offers and bonuses for football from our betting partners Ash Doom laden vision of how the country's second largest stadium could look in the mid 2040s is the worst case scenario, and surely unlikely. Nonetheless, the images are another alert for Ratcliffe of how dramatic, expensive, and arguably urgent, the refurbishment must be. The pictures look like scenes from a horror movie, perhaps to be titled The Night of the Living Red. Despair and disrepair dominate the gloomy representation of a do-nothing nightmare future. Most read in football AL be off £45 million Man United star becomes unemployed aged 28 as he pens emotional letter blue swoop Chelsea close to hiring Enzo Maresca for £10 million compensation after Leicester talks Greal close Jack Grealish nearly falls off Man City parade bus twice as teammates stop him league of their own Man United, could be relegated to Conference League. Despite FA Cup win best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers the patchy roof has gone to rack and ruin in the desolate depiction, and the pitch is littered with debris. Meanwhile, the surroundings of the stadium look more like a bleak industrial site than the setting for one of football's most grandiose venues. Manchester United's fall from glory since Sir Alex Ferguson however, before any stadium rebuild, Ineos CEO Ratcliffe and United's new board must decide whether to keep under fire manager Ten Hag. So for now the priority is sorting out the rain rather than the rain, Sun Sports verdict on Man United flops here Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have a busy summer ahead to get Man UTD's squad in order for next season. Below Sunsport gives it verdict on how they should deal with the Red Devils flops this summer. Andre Onana, stay, after a dodgy start at Old Trafford Onana has proven to be one of the more reliable members of the squad this season despite being peppered with shots constantly. Altai Bayandir, go. Reports in February suggested Bayandir was unhappy with his bit part role at Man United amid interest from Turkish giants Galatasaray. If profit can be made on a sale then it should be done. Tom Heaton, stay, veteran goalkeeper Heaton, 38, is a reliable backup and is on a relatively small wage at the club. So long as he is happy it makes sense to keep him. 
Aaron Wan Bisaka, go, Wan Bisaka, 26, has never managed to make the right back position his own. With his contract up in 2025, it makes sense to cash in now. Diogo Delot, stay, Delot, 26, has been one of Man UTD's most consistent performers this season. Rafael Varane, go. If it wasn't for his injury record there would be a strong shout to keep Varane, but costs need to be cut to allow the squad to be freshened up. Harry Maguire, go. Maguire has showed he has the right character to be at Man United, but overall ability and desired profile are another matter, with Maguire too slow to play in a high-line defence. Lisandro Martinez, stay, Martinez, 26, is second to none in terms of build-up play. He needs a long-term defensive partner on the right side and to cut out the injuries which have plagued him this season. Johnny Evans, go. Veteran campaigner Evans could easily be on the stay list if he was only going to be a bit part player. But he has shown his advanced years at times this season. Victor Lindelof, go. Lindelof, 29, has been reliable if not unremarkable in his Man United career. He has one year left on his contract so should be moved on if a decent transfer fee can be got for him. Willy Kamwala, stay, he should be given the opportunity to mature for a few years behind a senior CB pairing before stepping into the first team as a starter or being moved on. Luke Shaw, go. One of the Premier League's best left-backs when fit, Shaw has been a good servant when available. But alas that has been his Achilles heel once again this season. Terrell Malaysia, stay. Malaysia, 24, was decent enough to earn some merit in his first season at Man United before injury ended his season and inadvertently led to his second season being a write-off. Safian Amrabat, go, Amrabat, 27, looked like a world beater at the Qatar World Cup with Morocco. But H has had an underwhelming season in England and his loan spell will almost certainly not be made permanent. Casemiro, go. An alarming physical decline has seen him turn from key star to burden. If a club is willing to buy the 32-year-old, who has two more years on his contract, then United should snatch their hand off. Christian Eriksen, go! Eriksen proved a useful asset and Ineos should look to bring in another player with similar traits, but frankly his legs have looked gone towards the end of this season. Kobe Mainu, stay. The first of the so-called untouchables, Mainu has been a rare glimmer of hope in the Red Devils midfield this season. Mason Mount, stay. Mount can be given the benefit of the doubt until summer 2025 at least after a debut season riddled with injury. Scott McTominay, stay. McTominay, 27, has proven himself to be a brilliant plan B off the bench this season, and that is exactly why Ineos should look to keep him.
Bruno Fernandes, stay, Man UTD's best player since his arrival just over four years ago, Fernandes, 29, remains second to none when it comes to creating chances while his tenacity boosts those around him. Anthony, go, there's a case to argue that Anthony may be the worst pound-for-pound -pound signing in Premier League history. Despite some memorable moments he simply isn't Man United quality. Anthony Marshall, go, ultimately Marshall needs to be let go when his deal runs out this summer after an appalling injury record of late. Marcus Rashford, stay, as easy as it would be to say Rashford should leave the club this summer, it is difficult to look at the market and find many available players capable of scoring 30 goals a season. Alejandro Garnacho, stay, another third of the untouchables trio, Garnacho has made the right wing his own since coming into it. H is a raw talent but has shown he has the quality to improve. Rasmus Hochland, stay, a slow burner in his first Man United season, the 21-year-old has often been starved of supply which has led to him being unable to get the goals his movement and unselfish play often merits. Ahmed Diallo, stay. In the fleeting moments he has been on the pitch for Man United this season, Diallo has looked dangerous and exciting. He should be given a chance to flourish with some proper chances in the first team across a whole season.